we will now write the code for a second transformation for our transformation application. Let's write the code for a translation. To begin, let's make sure that the crab starts at 0, 0. Right now we have it so that it is at 0, 0, but if we change it in the code, um, it will end up with the crab in another location. So let's just make sure that when we click the green flag, it starts at the 0, 0 position. So under motion, select go to 0, 0. That will ensure at the very beginning, our crab starts at 0, 0 and is pointing in the correct direction. Now we're ready to perform the trans formation, which is going to be a translation right now. We're going to select the glide block, which is under motion. So glide for one second, um, and then right now it's at zero and zero. So we're going to change that so that it glides to 100, 100. So our X value is 100 and our Y value is 100. So it should just be around here that it glides to. Then we'll make it so that it waits one second. So we're gonna, we are going to select control, and then we will select wait. Then we need to return our crab back to the zero, zero position. So again, we will go to motion, select another glide block, and it's got zero and zero in there. The last thing we need to do is ensure that it says translation when it's going to be doing the translation. So under looks, we will grab the first say block there and put it just above our code for the translation. And instead of hello, we're going to type in translation. So now when we click the green flag, it makes sure the crab is at the zero zero position facing the correct direction. It will say rotation, it will do a rotation, then it will say translation, it will perform a translation. So let's test it out by clicking on the green flag rotation, it rotates, translation, it glides to 100, 100, and then glides back down to 0, 0. In our next transformation, we will go ahead and perform a dilation.